few years back, one of Lauren Underwood's friends from grad school, a black woman named Shalon Irving, um, died very unexpectedly after she'd given birth. Chicago Magazine did a big profile on Lauren Underwood this summer in, in which she talked about it. Quote, the way Underwood saw it, her friend had done everything right. She was a highly educated woman with excellent insurance who had received prenatal care from quality providers in the richest country in the world. Her friend's work in the Violence Prevention Division of the CDC had given her intimate knowledge of the extra health risks borne by black women, who, according to that agency's data, are up to four times more likely to die from complications related to pregnancy and childbirth than white women are. Underwood described her friend's funeral as, quote, unimaginable, saying, quote, her baby was there, her mom was there, the director of the CDC was there, all these other uniformed public health officials were there, everybody was stunned. She said, quote, just like, how could this happen? Instead of accepting this horrible ongoing mortality rate among mothers of color in this country, as a congresswoman, Congresswoman Lauren Underwood has set out to do what she could to change it. She put together a package of bills specifically designed to try to lower the mortality rate of mothers of color in this country. And she called that package of bills the momnibus it's like an omnibus bill, but mom, you get it. Well, we've been covering this, as I said, for a few years now. Lauren Underwood's rise to Congress, her priorities, her uh, creation of the Black Maternal Health Caucus, all the other things that she's worked on as an incredibly practical and accomplished young member of Congress. You want to know what happened today? Today, President Joe Biden signed the first of the omnibus bills into law. It is called the Protecting Moms Who Serve Act. It sets up a big new maternal care program at the VA for our country's veteran mothers. Joining us now, Illinois Congresswoman Lauren Underwood, who has introduced what she calls the Momnibus Package of Bills on Maternal Health. The first one of those bills became law today. Congresswoman Underwood, congratulations. It's great to see you. Thank you so much, Rachel. Second term members of Congress never get a bill passed. Um, you got this bill passed. It is part of this momnibus package that you have pursued from the very beginning. Um, what's the secret to your success here? Well, we're really focused on solving problems and making sure that in my time in Congress, I can use this role to help save lives in this country. You know, Black birthing people are three to four times more likely to die from pregnancy-related complications than their white counterparts. And we have an opportunity to take action to stop this maternal mortality crisis that we face in this country. Now, this bill today specifically focuses on moms who served, um, as, the, as the bill title puts it. It's specifically going to help moms who are getting maternal care through the VA. Is that right? That's right. So women are the fastest growing veteran population that we have in our country. And right now we have about half a million women veterans under 40, meaning that their reproductive age could be having babies. And we know that because of their service, many of them are at, at at increased risk for maternal morbidity, maternal death, or severe mortality, right? Really severe complications as a result of their pregnancy. We want to make sure that as part of the world-class care they receive at the VA, they have excellent maternal care coordination as well. And so that's what this legislation does, is it helps improve the maternal health care that our veteran moms receive. Now, a lot of the rest of your momnibus uh, agenda, as I understand it, is included in the Build Back Better package, uh, which has been struggling, has passed the House, has been struggling its way through the Senate. Am I right in remembering that your original Senate partner on the whole momnibus package was then Senator Kamala Harris? Has that, is, A, is that, yes. am I remembering that correctly? And has that yes. been helpful in terms yes. of getting this stuff into the legislation? Senator Har then Senator Harris, now Vice President Harris, has been a longtime champion for maternal health and equity issues, and she has been just a wonderful partner for us in the Black Maternal Health Caucus. Um, and so we teamed up to introduce the Mommy Bus, a comprehensive package of 12 bills to end our nation's maternal mortality crisis. Now our partner in the Senate is Senator Cory Booker, but we have been so fortunate to work with President Biden and Vice President Harris to get every eligible provision of the Mommy Bus, including in the Build Back Better Act, meaning a billion dollars to help moms and babies and families all across this country. And what's so incredible is it's paid for, Rachel, by making sure that the wealthiest Americans and corporate tax evaders pay their fair share. And so we have an opportunity to save lives and pay for it in the process. 
Congresswoman Lauren Underwood, Democrat of Illinois. Um, I love it. Every time, check, every time we check in with you, you have something else uh, practical and sensical to talk about that you are, through all the odds, actually getting done. Uh, I really enjoyed every time you've been here on the show. I can't wait to have you back to talk about how this progresses as Build Back Better passes and the rest of this effort of yours comes to fruition. Thank you so much for helping us understand. Thank you so much. 